Hello, Princess, and welcome, members of the court. You know, it is said that variety is the spice of life, and sometimes you just get tired of the same lovers and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sometimes you get tired of the same cruise lines, so we are at Port Miami about to board Celebrity Silhouette. Yes, this is my first time on Celebrity Cruise Line, so... Here we go, something new. Port Miami may have temporarily been dethroned, but top of the parking lot, I am at, and I bet the elevators at Port Canaveral are working. I hate to admit this, but I am late because something I even hate more admitting, I forgot something. So, uh, yes, I was on US-1 uh, leaving the palace and I realized, oopsie, not something I absolutely needed, but something that would be really inconvenient not to have, so. I diddled around for too long and then had to go back, but it's okay, it's, I'm at 1230, so I'm an hour and a half past my arrival time. I think they'll let me on. All right, through security, my belt had an issue, which was kind of weird. No problem with the wine. Celebrity still allows two bottles for stateroom, so as a solo, that is awesome. And don't worry, I will get to the escalator story. We just need to check in. And the sign we all love to see, to ship. That was super, 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 super easy. Hold on. Arr! All checked in and there she is, Celebrity Silhouette. Yeah, English spelling. We really got to do something about that. And here we go. This is Celebrity Silhouette. We are aboard and as usual, there's one thing to take care of. I did not have anything to eat before. So let's see, where do we, where do we go? The Ocean View Cafe sounds promising. I was on my way to uh, check in from my muster station. I was distracted by something super special, complimentary champagne. I uh, don't remember seeing this since, oh, since MSC Siski. Well, that was like only two months ago, so is my memory that bad? Yes, I feel bad chugging champagne, but I want to get my mustard drill done. Because the Royal Caribbean group, of which Celebrity is part, is still a functional cruise line and still uses the e-muster. So I just have to find a six, check in, and I'm done. I watched all the videos in the app, and that means we are complete. So I'm not doing a speed run, but I might as well be because this probably will be not even five minutes. Maybe I'll check the timestamps. I won't remember, but yeah, well, right up here. Hey, always in the theater. Why am I always in the theater? Found it. All right, A6. Let's get this over with. And that's it. My key card, my key card, my boarding pass was scanned, but oh my God, she droned on for like 25 seconds. Yeah, that's, that's it. It took 25 seconds to complete. So, uh, oh, we're definitely going to complain about that, but I wanted to get this over with first, but now we have to find lunch. Okay, uh, what exactly is going on here? 14 is my goal, and well, we're waiting for an up elevator. We'll check out everything else, especially that tomorrow, I think. All right, we are gonna make a slight detour because I saw some guests without their luggage, so I'm thinking the staterooms might be ready. Well, the door is open, and I have one that's kind of in a little cubby hole right here, and let's see. Man, yes, she is all ready. This is my inside stateroom here aboard Celebrity Silhouette, but oh, there I am too. All of me, <laughs> believe me, I know, I know. All right, so good, I can uh, leave the bag and off to lunch. I've said that about five times, but we're actually gonna do it now. Is that the Long Club up there? No, the Long Club Grill, we'll be there. But Ocean View Cafe, here we go. I've never seriously thought about stowing away but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight types of hummus. What we have here is garlic hummus, beetroot hummus, corn succotash, meatloaf, and barbecue ribs, and mango chutney and mango pickle. You all know I love that. So the buffet here on Celebrity Silhouette is not that large, which is actually really good because I don't feel overwhelmed. There is a good selection but there is not so many that I feel pressured to try everything. And that might bode well for something we will plan to do later in the week. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'll probably go back for a couple more things, but yeah, sometimes smaller can be better. Uh, the best thing on that plate was the hummus. The regular hummus was terrific. The rib was, oh, it was okay. Kind of difficult to eat. The, uh, the meatloaf, that was really good too. So was the corn sucker dash. The, um, the pickled mango was not as spicy as I had hoped, but that's, I guess, just a tasting. I'm gonna head back for round two in a minute. And, um, oh, one thing for this cruise, I did not get a uh, an adult beverage package. A couple reasons. I, I don't know, maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, the thing is, 
as a diamond with crown and anchor, I can go to the captain's happy hour, I think from five to second, where it's unlimited uh, beverages. It's a limited menu, we'll check that out when we get there. So I figure with that and the two bottles of wine that I brought, I should be good. I only spent $130 on Disney Wish for adult beverages, and that included two or three like uh, super froofy drinks that were like $22, $25 each. So uh, minus those, yeah, maybe a $100, $100 bar tab, and I was fine. So I thought this time, let's just see how it goes, and we'll know for next time. Although I'm already seeing people with <laughs> cocktails, and uh, I kind of want one, but it's okay. I will be getting the, uh, the regular refreshment package because I, I would like to treat myself with some fruity coffee in the morning and sodas. I would like to be able to get sodas from the bar. So we're going to do that. I have to connect to the Wi-Fi, but um, why am I complaining about that? That's a super easy thing. So I'm just going to shut up and do it. Yes, I will get to the escalators, but uh, with a beautiful view of almost downtown and the turning basin round two is... All right, what do we have here? We have... Uh, Sausages, that's what it was called. I don't know. Uh, vegetables, fried chicken, and uh, well, Mexican. It's a quesadilla with beef fajita, guacamole, and cheese sauce. And there was plenty of guacamole. And that was all pretty good. The sausage was the best thing. Reason I came out here was because apparently, recently, a couple was left on a shore excursion, and it was that movie thing, and they had to swim a half a mile, I think from the snorkeling location back to shore, and uh, well, the creator that, that told the story put the question out, would that be a problem for you? And half a mile with flippers and all that kind of stuff, no, not a problem at all. But I wanted to visualize how far it was, and um, it's about from, wait, where we are? It's about from, I can't see this, oh, it's about from there to there, to give or take a half mile, depending on conditions, just looking at it, it's not that far. So yeah, for me, not a problem at all. Even even in my uh, post-jab state. Since we have to build up our energy to explore the ship, this is New York cheesecake, but I got it for the crust. Red velvet cake and vanilla ice cream with what they call rainbow sprinkles. I don't know, we might, we might already have our first deduction. I'm sure everybody remembers when I pointed out on Norwegian Bliss that they had the correct sprinkles. Yes, there are correct sprinkles. Those are not the correct sprinkles. It's like chewing on rocks. Wow. Okay, apparently I have to visit guest relations to take care of my drink package because it won't let me buy it in the app. I don't know, hopefully it's because I get a discount because of my status, but I don't know. Now I have to trek down to three and, well, deal with it. Somewhere we know. All right, I don't know. I, the wrong sprinkles, and I'm one of those people at guest relations at embarkation. Okay, this is a completely different experience, exactly what I wanted. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Apparently, it's either not working for anybody or they just don't do it in the app, which is kind of strange. Anyway, either way, it's essentially free for the zero proof package because I get $100 booking OBC plus my 50, it's only four days, shareholder OBC. So that covers the $144 for the package price. Still, a better deal, comparatively. So, all right, um, well, let me get one of my zero proofs and start to explore the ship. I waited so long to not get a drink that I missed the tour. Uh, that was, uh, that was gonna be the highlight of my day. I finally got my drink. It's a watermelon tropic. It is uh, zero proof, so that's okay. Here's the thing. I don't really consider this a booze cruise. I want to experience the ship and everything, and. I know that I've had a package. I know, it, it does promote overindulgence, so that's your lesson for the day, princess. And after uh, Disney Wish, you know, if I spend another $100 on cocktails, that's fine. And I got up early and I did everything I wanted to. There wasn't a whole lot to do when the ship was at Castaway Key, but that's a different thing. So, well, it's an experiment. And of course we have five to seven. And uh, I did go to college, so I'm prepared for that. Apparently we have 70 naughty guests on board who have not completed their drill. So hopefully they will have to take the 45 minute mandatory makeup drill. Oh my God, it is bright. We found the famous celebrity grass. This is the lawn club. 
and Long Club Grill. This is probably the only specialty dining I will do this sailing and I think they're open for lunch, which would be excellent. I kind of have an idea what I want. From up here, we have a great view of Terminal V or Terminal 5. Not really sure what we're supposed to call it. Either way, I, uh, I don't know when we'll be there. I do actually and won't be that long. I do feel a bit naughty walking on the grass, but well, everyone else is so it's okay. And this kid's playing. Cruise director is giving a virtual tour. I'm so irked. I missed the real tour, but it's it's okay. And uh, oh, this is Long Club Grill again. And maybe this is the uh, outdoor seating. No, this is the porch. Okay, I don't remember seeing this on the dining list. I wonder what goes on up here. That. I suspect. I presume it's a lobster roll. And no to Norwegian, uh, it's served with chips. The escalators. I haven't forgotten about the escalators. Just trust me. All right, I got it. Let's go to the spa and the Persian garden because I think I get some time in there with my status. It is a relatively quiet day here in Port Miami. That is Disney Dream. And ahead of her is Symphony of the Seas. It's uh, just us three. Here's something I haven't seen before. The machines are graded in kilograms. Okay, well, let's not remember this. 22 pounds is 10 kilograms. I don't know. For some reason, it feels like uh, not very much of an accomplishment then. But I did notice the free weights here are all in pounds. Well, good to know. They have all the usual stuff. It's just a number of machines and then the free weights over there. Remember, I prefer to use machines on a cruise ship just because of the motion. And this is deck 12. And oh yes, Persian Gardens. I can go in on any one single port day. And I will do that on Sunday when the ship is in Nassau. I drove to the port today and on the way here, I was reminded about how much I really don't like to drive anymore. I like going for a drive, but just utility driving, ugh, it is so frustrating, especially since um, there are probably no competent traffic engineers anywhere in the country. If there were, we would not have traffic. Just think about that. They've never actually realized that merge lanes cause traffic. I don't know why this is so complicated. I do. They're bureaucrats. They work for the government. But that aside, our next stop is the library. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm holding the camera. I looked at the schedule, and the only thing that's really going on is music. There's a number of players and bands going on, and then there's a sailboat party, but that's about it. So I guess it's just wander around the ship or go in the pool, which I will do. At some point on some cruise, I will board and I will go straight to the pool after my stateroom is ready because uh, ew, I would I want to be wet. Here we are. I found the library. I guess it's uh, just these fancy seats. Well, there are books back there and uh, some right here. I haven't really looked at them, but uh, I guess you can just take them and there's a bin. You just drop them in. That's a little weird. Uh, okay, I need to go topside real quick and uh, well then we'll continue heading down. Please take them back. To the library. Arthur. Could Arthur be made today? That is a great, great question. Next time I have to remember to be my time dilation device because apparently the sail away party was at 3 o'clock, but sail away itself is not until 4.30, but that's okay. We're going to continue our little walk around the ship and uh, now I just want to go get another uh, little refresher. From the buffet bar, this is just the mint lemonade. It's pretty good. I do have to go to my stateroom real quick because uh, this camera is running out of power, so I just need to do I just need to, I just need to grab the stick and the battery stick and head out again. I just heard the show tonight is Women in Rock. Apparently art is a big thing on this ship. I already saw the video birds. And these little alcoves are adorable, except, yeah, why, why the beads? Ugh, reminds me of something I'm not gonna talk about. I think there's some kind of leadership conference on the ship. The observation lounge, or whatever they call it, was reserved, and there was a whole spread of, uh, you know, snacks and stuff. There was also some kind of presentation going on. I, there was the name, I don't remember what it was, but anyway, it reminds me of the time I went to a conference on a cruise ship, and maybe I'll tell you about that sometime. Oh, yeah, see, art, there you go, art. This is Murano, oh, with this lovely view off the stern. Oh, and well, here we go. The uh, gentle hum right now, or gentle vibration of, ooh, does she have azipods? I did not check. Either way, we're leaving. This is what I think a rainforest room should sound like. Sorry for the echo, but it's literally just tile and wall in here. But yes, the music 
the birds, the other fauna. Hmm. Okay. This I did not expect. We are first to leave, believe it or not. So, yeah, we're going to get a nice drive by of Disney Dream and Symphony of the Seas. And, even more important, we can see a construction update of MSC's new terminal. I have Anytime Dining, and they left in my stateroom a card uh, strongly advising that I show up to dinner at like 6 o'clock. No, not even, like 5.30 or something like that, which actually is fine. Even though I had enough uh, treats at the buffet, I will be ready for dinner, and I will be in the dining room every night on this cruise. I do want to try the dining room fair, get a good sample of that, and then next time we'll branch out to some of the specialties. I do plan still on one specialty, that's the long club, for lunch. We're gonna, we're gonna compare that to something else. And other than that, I don't know, I'm just gonna kinda take it as it goes. I will be up early probably for breakfast tomorrow without a drink package. There's no reason to not be up early. And get to sample that too, although I do suspect it will be eggs benedict. Oh, and I'm absolutely loving the fact that the entire January 6th Capital Tour and Selfie event narrative that we've been ugh, under for two years is completely unraveling uh, just like we knew it would because we knew what happened and uh, yeah the, the, <laughs> the conspiracy theories you know what they always come true so that's it your lesson for the day when someone says it's a conspiracy theory you know it's true East is complete, and then I guess this middle section is halfway done, and then well, all the remains is getting rid of all this here, and they will be good to go. Just doing some quick, um, I don't know, measurements on the maps. They'll be able to fit two ships here. Yep, lots of progress. They're almost done over here. Wow. All right, this is uh, it's gonna be impressive. I guess 2024 is gonna be pretty exciting. We're gonna have Icon of the Seas, MSC World America, and the Return of the King. This is Martini Bar, and yeah, they have one of the uh, frozen bar tops. All right, let's see what they got. I usually reserve my ghost ship commentary for the mornings, but it's very, very quiet. Maybe everyone's getting ready for dinner. What a beautiful skyline. I will show it to you in a minute. I hope I'm not in the shadow. Just gonna walk around the pool deck for a little bit. Actually, there's no music right now. That's very weird. Then I'm gonna try and make my early dinner, believe it or not, because yeah, I'm actually ready for that. I got myself one another one of those uh, fritzy lemonade things. Pretty good. And uh, after dinner, there's a few things going on. <laughs> yes, ay ay ay. The Women in Rock show. There's a party tomorrow. I'll tell you about that tomorrow. We're gonna make a video about that too. And. I know, I think it's gonna be good, but different. I wanted this, I wanted something different, and I'm sorry about the shadow. There she is, how oh, beautiful Miami. The ship is moving a little more than I thought, and there's Key Biscayne, and we are headed, well, that way for now, but we're actually headed, well, that way, really. Well, since it's a celebrity, and they expect you to dress for dinner, I mean, in clothes, I always wear clothes, usually. Well, at home, I don't know, it's complicated, anyway. I do need to go and change over, and uh, that involves, well, you know, the whole routine. So I'm going to do that now, and I will get there during the recommended time, which is fine because I'm already getting very, very hungry, and uh, ooh, I am looking forward to now the dining here. Let me tell you, the crowd is um, yeah. interesting. <laughs> I'm going to uh, spend some time watching for the next few days, but um, I don't know. I, I'm going to reserve judgment, but then I will judge harshly, of course as I always do, and as you should always, so. Okay, it was a great day. Something very, very different, and that's what I have been looking for, and I'm so glad to be here. So, I am, well, you know what? There was a, I had to go and get my beverage package at guest services, so I'm one of the guest services people on embarkation. I can't believe it. Ah, finally got me, but guess what? It makes me very thankful, very thankful for my problems. The escalators, I promise, I promise, I will tell you about the escalators.